Welcome to the Oracle Policy Modeling Tutorial Understanding Rule Tables. In this tutorial, I will first describe to you the structure of a rule table and will then follow that with a practical example of defining a rule table in Microsoft Word. As an attribute can only be determined by a single rule, a rule table is necessary either when there are multiple ways to prove an attribute or when an attribute must be calculated in different ways according to the circumstances. Additionally, a rule table ensures that the conclusion will be determined by only the first row containing conditions that are satisfied. That is, a rule table enforces priority over the order in which conditions are evaluated. A rule table is constructed as follows. The first row of the table defines which attribute will be used as the conclusion for the rule. In each of the subsequent rows of the table following the conclusion, the first column specifies the value for the conclusion attribute if the condition in the right-hand column of the same row is satisfied. The final row of the rule table contains a condition of otherwise and provides an alternative conclusion to which the conclusion will be set only if none of the previous conditional rows are satisfied. That is, if all of the previously stated conditions return a response of false, then this value will be applied to the conclusion. For our example, we will be using a scenario in which policy requires that people in different age groups are taxed at different rates. In order to specify different conclusions for the same attribute, we will define a rule table in Microsoft Word. We will not be using the Rule Assistant to do this, so we click on Rule Table in the command bar. We can see that an empty rule table has been inserted into the rules document. Start by typing the conclusion, the person's tax rate for the tax year, into the first row of the table. Next, for people who are at least 18 years old, the tax rate will be 10% or 0.1 as a decimal. So, we type a value of decimal 0.1 as a conclusion into the first column of the second row of the table. Type the condition, the person's age is equal to or greater than 18 at the conclusion of the tax year, into the second column of the second row of the table. Now, for people who are less than 18 years old, the tax rate will be 5% or 0 0.05 as a decimal, so we type a value of decimal 0 0.05 as a conclusion into the first column of the third row of the table. Type the condition, the person's age is less than 18 at the conclusion of the tax year, into the second column of the third row of the table. The fourth and final row of our table is where we enter our alternative conclusion. So, type the value 0 into the first column of the fourth row of the table. And that concludes our rule table. Let's now check that there are no errors by clicking on Validate in the command bar. No errors are found, so we click on the OK button to dismiss the error dialog. We can now exit the rules document, so click on the Close button in the top right hand corner. We are returned to the rules view. Now we can optionally verify that the correct attributes have been automatically generated from our rules table by visiting the data view. So let's now click on the data tab. In the data view we can see that the goal and the conditions of our rule table have led to the creation of three global attributes, the two boolean conditions and the number attribute for the conclusion. Congratulations and well done! We have now successfully defined a rule table to our rules document. Let's all take a collective bow. We invite you to learn more about Oracle Policy Automation and stay connected with our active communities. Please take a moment to study this slide so that you will know where to find us whenever you need us.